If you grew up in the 90s and your family was at least somewhat into motorcycles or maybe not even into motorcycles at all, there's a good chance that you spent a decent portion of your childhood watching the first real awesome reality show, American Choppers. This show was always confusing for me as a fledgling human, not understanding why everyone was yelling and what exactly they were saying when that beep noise happened. I remember being amazed by their craftsmanship and their artistry. There's really no denying these guys are so talented and skilled. There's some really amazing bikes that they made and designed, but man, there's some crap as well. <laughs> so that's why today I'm bringing you the worst, dumbest, silliest, just most awful American chopper motorcycles of all time. So sit back and enjoy it. And also know there's a lot of contention about these things and it's all preference. Some are undeniably bad that I'm gonna talk about, but some of these ones that I'm including are actually beloved by other people like you'll see lists where people say these are the worst or these are the best and the list will be basically the same so it's all preference all right first on our list is the Aragon chopper not to be confused with the dragon chopper which was also dragon related they made that one back in season one and that one was amazing the dragon one this one was seasons later and yeah it was way worse the dragon bike is actually pretty cool so for this one my problem with it are just the way the forks are set up they are up there with some of the longest, most ridiculous forks I've seen. Like the rake is so extreme and so steep. The bike doesn't have any of the aggressiveness that it should have as a dragon related motorcycle. It should have a really low rake in my opinion and be like kind of down on the ground prowling a bit more like some of their other motorcycles. Cause dragons are relatively flat, you know, I don't know. The bike is almost as bad as the Aragon movie itself. That is a piece of crap movie with a piece of crap motorcycle to go with it. But I have to say, having chainmail on the exhaust kind of makes up for everything wrong with this bike. It doesn't totally make sense because dragons don't wear chainmail, but I guess in the movie he's kind of like a knight and in the book as well. I did read the books and they're pretty good, much better than this motorcycle. But yeah, this American Chopper is horrendously ugly in my opinion. It looks like it's virtually unrideable as well. Now before we get into the motorcycle itself for this one, this is the episode known for the memed argument between Senior and Junior, and that ultimately ended with Senior firing Junior. And you gotta wonder, was all of this really because Junior showed up 45 minutes late to work consistently, as Paul Senior claims? Was it really because they were in the process of making this horrendous motorcycle, and tempers were just on edge? So this was a bike created for the NHL, commissioned by the NHL. I mean, it just doesn't look like something built by the American choppers. Like it doesn't look like experienced designers and motorcycle fabricators made this. These guys are so creative and this just looks like something that I drew up. <laughs> the color scheme with the faded looking paint, obviously that's made to look like a worn out like hockey rink, you know, to look like ice with paint fading. It doesn't look good. Why not make it white? if that's what you're going for. I guess it's to make it have like a sort of retro aesthetic in honor of the original six, apparently. I don't know. But then the rest of it, the hockey sticks <laughs> just sticking up out of the back, and then just this regular old looking tail section. Like, it just kind of looks like a regular bagger in the back. I don't know. This is just not appealing to me, which isn't saying much, because I don't like it. I don't like choppers. None of them are appealing to me, really. But I can at least appreciate them and appreciate like what the builder is trying to accomplish, but not so much with this one. All right, number five goes to the Carroll Shelby chopper from season four. Now, a motorcycle designed after a classic Shelby Mustang could be cool. And again, lots of people love this one, but it's just not for me for quite a few reasons. Shelbys are sleek and cool and beautiful, but they're really simple in their design. They're aggressive for sure, but they're not like stupid aggressive, like crazy angular or anything like that. They're just very smooth looking sports cars. This bike is just silly looking in my opinion. Sometimes the American Chopper Boys were able to really capture the spirit of whatever it was that they were designing and those were the bikes that were really interesting to me. And other times they just would add things to make the bike look like whatever they were modeling the bike after and sometimes I will say that did work. Like with the airplane jet one that they did, that's an amazing one. And they just threw like wings and stuff on it. <laughs> but yeah, you can't just like throw a weird spoiler on the rear fender and then like a hood scoop on the front fender and be like, oh look, it's a Shelby motorcycle. No, that's this thing just looks like an extraterrestrial monster. It is, it doesn't look like a Shelby. <laughs> it, it doesn't look like a sports car. It's bad. 
Now, I feel bad including this one because I know a lot of people consider this like one of the best American Chopper builds. Of course, it's really iconic and it is cool on some levels, but it's so bad in so many other ways. They actually reacquired this in the American Chopper's reboot. Somebody had taken a sledgehammer to it apparently, which is sad. It's sad to the Tuttle family. But can you really blame that person for taking a sledgehammer to it? I'm kidding, chill. That was actually me, guys. I actually bought this chopper for like $10,000 because it had depreciated that much and I bought it literally just so I could take a sledgehammer to it. Some of the parts I like are the exhaust. That looks kind of like baseball bats, I guess. The blue and silver V-twin engine is actually really cool. I actually really like that. But the overall flow of the bike is just so drastic and weird and like it has random baseballs and like Yankee logos and the awful Yankees pinstriping. Ugh. I do like the signed gas tank though, that is pretty cool. It's not the worst one ever, I will say that, and there's things I like about it, but the things I don't like, I really don't like. Also, I don't like baseball, so that could be part of it. Also, I don't like the Yankees. Nobody likes the Yankees. Okay, this one hurts me a lot. I have to include the Ferrari chopper. <laughs> I mean, having an American chopper styled and designed after a Ferrari is just a bad idea in general. Like, it doesn't make any sense. That's like having a tank designed after a piece of fine jewelry. It just doesn't work. And trust me, it didn't work. This bike looks like Clifford the Big Red Dog had a baby with a praying mantis. And this is just what popped out. A red praying mantis thing. Now, it's so difficult to make a chopper that looks like a Ferrari. It's so much easier to turn a sports bike into a Ferrari, for example. Like, you wouldn't have to do a whole lot to make a Ducati Panigale look like a Ferrari. You wouldn't even have to really do anything. It basically just looks like a Ferrari. Or like an MV Agusta Super Veloce. There are some better renders of what a Ferrari chopper could look like that I saw on Google when I was looking at this bike. But again, just take a Panigale, you pretty much have a Ferrari. All right, next up we have the GoDaddy Chopper, and this one actually took them two episodes. There are very few motorcycles that I myself personally would refuse to ride, like that I would refuse to be seen on, and this is one of them. If they asked me, hey, do you want to ride this? I'd be like, no, I don't want to. Because it's an attention getter for sure, but for all the wrong reasons. People, for example, see me on my old Triumph, and they're like, oh, that's cool, and they look at me, and sometimes they come talk to me about it. People see you on this thing, and they spontaneously start throwing up. That's actually true. This bike is green, it's orange, and by golly, it's about 27 feet long. I don't actually know if this is longer than most of their bikes, but it really looks long. It's got that crazy long sloping tank that just makes it look like an absolute boat. And I'm sure it would just be horrendous to ride. Imagine trying to take the skills test on this thing. You literally would get into the U-turn rectangle and then you'd realize your bike is longer than the rectangle itself. I'm not gonna say anything else about this bike. You guys can see it. Form your own opinion. My opinion is it's not good. All right, for our final one, we have the Davis Love the Third Chopper. Now, nothing goes better together than a crazy chopper motorcycle and a golfer, especially Davis Love the Third. He's like the golfiest of golfers. Now, I do like that they did just make him a cool, bad looking bike instead of trying to somehow make this thing look like a goddamn golf ball or like a golf course or something. But man, it's just weird and random. This whole episode is just weird. It should have at least had something golf related, like have a golf club just sticking out the back or like a golf hat shaped gas tank or maybe mirrors made out of three irons. But no, it's just a flamey, god-awful red chopper thing. And it doesn't make sense with <laughs> Davis Love the Third. <sighs> but he was excited about it. Apparently he really liked these and I'm happy for him. And I'm just saying I don't really like it. You know, it might be something wrong with me, but I don't get choppers. They aren't mean looking or cool or like